Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Dr. K's Sunday Special. Today I want to talk about arthritis, a term that I'm sure a lot of you have heard of. Many of you have likely been diagnosed with this condition by your doctor or have looked it up online. And I want to dispel a couple myths that I see from patients coming into my clinic. I hear them talk about all the time, a couple myths that I think if we understand and we better clarify, it'll give you a better understanding of how to go about treating the condition. So arthritis, an AKA, actually the, the clinical diagnosis term, is degenerative joint disease. And I want to break down the words a little bit more as we go through the myths and show you why thinking of it in this way and naming it degenerative joint disease actually does very little to explain the process of arthritis. So to get started with that, let me dive right in and show you myth number one of arthritis, and that is... Arthritis is caused by age or time. And what I mean by that is I have patients come in all the time and say, my doctor told me that my arthritis is due to my old age. And I want you to take a look at the picture that's on screen right now, because this is a classic picture of x-rays that I take all the time in my practice. In fact, this is from a recent patient that I have, and I could have picked any of them because this is such a common presentation. In fact, if you look at your own x-rays, certainly of your neck, but if really this applies to any joint, you'll find very similar process. And I want you to pay attention to the lower part of the joints that are arthritic. Those joints that have the bone spurs growing out of the front and the spacing between the joints is limited. That is the arthritis. And what I hear all the time is, my doctor told me it's caused by old age. But I want you to ask yourself for a second, what about the joints just two or three inches above that spot? What about those joints? How old are those joints? Or if you have one knee that's arthritic and you have one knee that's breaking down and your doctor has told you that it's due to old age, how old is your other knee? Right? And what you'll find is that, sure, age and time is a process of arthritis, but it's simply part of the process. It's not the only factor that is concerning the cause of arthritis. There's going to be other contributors, and that's why some joints that are the same age as healthy joints break down faster than others. Now the second myth, which is one that I hear all the time, is that arthritis is wearing and tearing of the joints. Now this, again, is not very accurate because I want you to take uh, into account what the arthritis actually looks like. Look at this picture again on screen, and what you'll find is that the joint is actually increasing in size. It's not degenerating, it's actually regenerating. And the way you can picture it is if you take a, a, beat, a bit of Play-Doh and you make it, form it into a ball, like a little hamburger patty. And what I want you to do is I want you to push down on that hamburger patty and notice how the circumference actually expands. Or if we're talking about a joint, the joint actually gets bigger. It doesn't degenerate, it gets bigger. And what that indicates is that the body isn't wearing and tearing, the body is actually regrowing tissue. It's actually stabilizing an unstable area. And what you'll find is that stability and movement is what is lacking. The discs, which are the spacing between the joints, require movement. That is how the discs stay hydrated. That is how they maintain their size and shape. And when you lose movement, the discs start to wear out and become dehydrated. And you start to get these hallmark signs, like in the lower part of the neck here, for arthritis. And what I imagine is, imagine New York City 10 years after humans. They've had a lot of movies about this concept, and you can imagine the streets being overrun with vines and the sidewalks having grass growing on it, and basically nature starts to take over the city. That's what happens with arthritic joints. The fact is, is that normal relationships of movement have been lost. Stability has been lost. And the way the body fixes that process is by laying down more bone, by actually stabilizing and reducing the movement of an unstable joint. And so really what it is, is it's not degenerative joint disease, it's more of dis-ease. The term disease, I love how they throw the term disease on all sorts of topics to make it seem like it's the body breaking down and it's just a faulty system. The body is very intelligent and it responds and adapts to the environment stresses as needed. So I much prefer the term dis-ease because it actually explains what's happening, especially when we're talking about arthritis. So the two myths, the myth number one is it's caused by age 
time it's just old joints breaking down, wearing and tearing, myth number two, wearing and tearing of joints over time is just simply not the case. In fact, I'm gonna share with you right now two solutions that I think if you change your perspective on arthritis, it'll really change the way that you look at the condition and how to go about treating or maintaining the health of the area that has become arthritic. Solution number one, is movement instability. I've been hinting at it throughout the talk here, but movement instability is what is actually going to stop the progression of the arthritis and even in some cases restore the health to the joint. You see, when the joint moves, like in the lower part of the neck of the images that I've been showing you, when the joint moves, the tissues are now able to get more circulation. The discs are able to start to rehydrate themselves and movement being restored is going to stop signaling the body to lay down more bone spurs and to stop solidifying the area. It's actually gonna start restoring the normal process that is designed with movement. Movement is life. And so if we have an area like the example with New York City that has been lost of life for 10 plus years, the vines are gonna start to grow around it. It's gonna start to become overgrown. In arthritic joints, it's gonna be overgrown with scar tissue and bones and loss of space. And so the, the solution to that is movement and stability. It's a combination of the two, whether it's the traditional chiropractic adjustment that aims to break up the adhesions that are sticking joints together, or whether it's through physical therapy type stability exercises so that once movement is restored, your body is actually able to maintain posture and maintain stability to the area so that inflammation doesn't get started. And that leads me to the solution number two, which is managing inflammation. So arthritis, when you break down the word, the first part, arthros, is the Greek prefix for joint, and itis is the Greek suffix for inflammation. So really what arthritis means is inflammatory joints. And so managing the inflammatory response is going to be a huge way at starting to manage how the arthritis is forming. And the three ways that you can do that is by taking a deep look at the physical, chemical and emotional stresses that are being placed upon that joint and placed upon your body on a daily basis, right? Your body's response to the environment, that is your body's response to the stresses, either physically, chemically, or emotionally, is going to change the inflammatory levels within that joint. So physical things like movement and stability are gonna be very big for maintaining the inflammatory response in that area. Also chemically, if you can take some nutritional, healthy, natural anti-inflammatories, I'm thinking like fish oil or turmeric, things of that nature that are actually going to decrease the inflammatory response. But then also emotionally, if you, you, you need to stay calm, you need to actually understand where you're at with your health and understand that arthritis is just another symptom. It's just another effect. It's not the cause of your problems. You're not just getting old. It's not joints that are broken down and uh, just wearing and tearing over time. And once you better understand that, you can wrap your head around the solutions necessary to actually treat the effects. So managing the inflammatory response, restoring proper movement and stability is gonna be key at solving your arthritic joint problems. Number one, it's not a process of time. Number two, it's not wearing and tearing of joints. Degenerative joint disease is a misnomer. Really, it's just dis-ease. And if you can restore proper ease to the body, you're gonna have a lot more success at solving some of these issues. So if you've enjoyed this content, I really appreciate you sticking through to the end here. Please uh, like, subscribe, go on and comment all the videos online. I really appreciate all the support. Stay tuned for next week's Sunday special where I'll be covering a new topic on health and wellness. And I think you all will enjoy it quite a bit. So thank you so much.